to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video just a reminder some great news the design of experiments for 21st century engineers the mini tab version has just been released. I know for those of you unfortunate enough to have selected Minitab you have a great deal of difficulty in understanding this software so we've created this special version of this text with the Minitab screenshots. The link to lulu.com where you can buy this book is in the description below and of course you also have the option of purchasing Drink Tea and Read the Paper which is the perfect book to go with your Green Belt or Six Sigma Black Belt training. The link to lulu.com for that book is also in the description below. And of course the other thing that we'd really love you to do, please go to buymeacoffee.com and make a small donation. All of these things, the purchase of the books and the donations, they help keep the channel moving. I'm really grateful to all of those people who are currently donating. Many thanks for your support and your help. And now, let's get on with today's video. Welcome to the latest video. And in this video newsletter, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about stupid statistics as opposed to valuable statistics. So this comes from this comes from a post on LinkedIn this morning. I must admit I'm trying not to be I'm trying not to be a grumpy old man as I get older, but it's getting more and more difficult as you see certain things. This morning on LinkedIn, somebody posted a little uh, four answer, you know, multiple choice answer question. They posted a little shape of a normal distribution and then talked about the peak of the distribution. And they were asking a question about whether it was kurtosis, skewness, normality or something else. Can't even remember the phrase. Um, and I replied with a comment basically saying, who cares? Who's ever saved any money in a company by knowing about kurtosis, for Christ's sake? So, stupid statistics. And by the way, this was a Six Sigma Master Black Belt was asking this. Who cares about kurtosis? My God. So, statistics that are valuable. Simple things. Run chart histogram, mean, standard deviation, sample size, simple hypothesis tests, namely the t-test, super valuable the t-test. Um, what else would we have in there? Oh yeah, of course, flipping heck. Statistical process control. Why didn't the person ask a question about SPC? Do you ever put specification limits on an SPC chart? A real practical money-making question. If you put specification limits on a control chart, expect to waste bucket loads of cash. Now look guys, they're the valuable statistics. Here are the statistics that, that make money. These are the ones you should learn. When people start talking about, let's have a think. Um, you know, what is kurtosis? You know, what is skewness? What else could we talk about? Oh yeah, Z scores. Some people ask questions about Z scores. Who cares about Z scores? Z scores was something that I used at school when I was using one of these things, a flipping old fashioned log book. And I had to know the Z score in order to look at the normal distribution and work out the probability. Today, 
We have tools to do this. We have computers to help us. Converting to Z scores is a completely pointless activity today. If I listed a hundred statistical tools, these things wouldn't even be on the list. They wouldn't even be on the list for money. This is what I'm talking about. We're inside an organization. The organization needs money-making statistics to stop them making bad decisions, missing opportunities to improve their process. Money-making statistics are here. Stupid statistics are over here. Please, black belts are out there. Master black belts that are out there. Please look at all the things you teach. Prioritize them and teach your students the money-making list and make sure that they prioritize the money-making list and become world-class at using these. I mean, this thing, wow. We just can't get people to use SPC and we can't get people to use SPC properly. There is money going down the drain in every company that refuses to use SPC. And we're talking about kurtosis. Guys, get a grip. Teach the money-making tools and let's get everybody making bucket loads of cash and getting the best out of all of their equipment.